watch administrative. Sunday, you can go to church. You can pray at home. It doesn't mean when you go to the church and then you sit there, means you are a Christian. You understand? Uh -huh. Do the right thing. Give to the less privileged, those who cannot work. Do good things. You don't have to go to church on Sunday. Maybe you, you have a fight with somebody, you tell the person, Who they may call sorry Sunday, Abba? May you call me, may you call sorry, Abba? May you call me, who they may call me? You're silly, man. You are in your own church. The church lives within you. Yeah. The church lives within you. So, it doesn't mean every Sunday you have to go to the church for people to see, eh, Sunday I've gone to church. That's hypocrisy. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. As I said, if in some of have even seen a girl in the church, that is why the person is even going to the church. Because you've seen a nice girl in the church. And nothing I hope I sorry no. Because we cross every Sunday, open more by the Yeah, man. The church lives between you. You are your own church. Do the right thing. When you wake up, pray to God. Pray for help. Because if you have money and you are sick, you cannot enjoy your money. If you are rich and you are sick, you cannot enjoy your money. People will enjoy it for you. So when you wake up every morning, thank God for your life. Pray for long life. Pray for health. So every time you'll be healthy. And when you are healthy and you work, that is where the riches come. If you are an athlete, you pray for health. When you train and then you go and you play, the more you play with health, that is where the contrast comes. That is where people see you. And then you can make money out of it. It doesn't mean you have to go to church to go and sit down with hypocrisy. Yeah, you can go to the church and listen to the word of God. But listen to what the, the pastor says, the wise ones. You don't go to church for church sake. When you read the Bible, you take what will benefit your life. And then you work towards it. That is how we live. You understand? Uh -huh. If you know this is not right for you, don't do it. If you if you know this is right for you, do it. You don't have to be hypocrite and say, oh, every Sunday, every Sunday is a must. Every Sunday you are going to church. And then after church, then what? After church, then you come home and then you start insulting elderly people. And then you start disrespecting people. And then you say you go to church. Yeah. Church is for morals. When you go to church, you listen to the pastor, you listen to the good ones, morals, so it can benefit your life. You understand? Yes. So, every time I say unto you, think positive. People make mistakes. But you always have to think positive about your life. So that when even family meetings, they can even call you to family meetings. Which means you are very important. You understand? Uh -huh. That is what you have to do. Pray and succeed so that when they are calling family meetings, they can even call you. This means you are important. If they call family meetings and they don't call you, then you have to work on your life. You hear me? God knows your heart. So if you don't go to church on Sunday, it doesn't mean you are evil. You are not evil. Do the right thing. When you have some and somebody doesn't have it and you feel you can give the person, Give the person, give the less privilege so that the person can also bless you because the person cannot work. When the person cannot work, every positive thing that the person says unto your life happens. The person who is crippled, who is on the road, who cannot work, when you give and the person says, God bless you, it means the person cannot work. So all the positive, all the positive energy will come onto your life. It doesn't mean you have to go to church to go and give it to somebody and then the person will come and then you will tell the whole world and the person will be saying a lot of things and I'm at all Benz and I'm at all Rolls Royce and I'm at all Wii. The person is mocking you. You don't know. 
true talk when you have money and you feel you can donate give it to the less privileged give it to the less privileged today is sunday do the right thing let your heart be clean don't think evil about anybody I'm speaking to you as my brother and my sister. Today is Sunday. I'm preaching, right? Everything I'm saying is life. It's philosophy about life. I know why I'm saying that. Because it has happened in my life. So I have to share it to you. When you are there and somebody is less privileged, they are the people you can donate to because they cannot work. Because they don't have the ability to work so when you donate to them everything they say is from their heart because they know they, are, they cannot work everything they say happens in your life because the person cannot work you've helped the person risky boy my man dr pounds when you feel today you can go to church you can go to church sit down listen to the gospel take the good ones and it will necessarily to go to church every sunday every sunday and then you go bang 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 that was why last time i showed you my susu the susu can do something in your life those who say eh, eh, um, those who say uh, because I have it, I can do susu every time. But remember, every Sunday to you go, and then you go and give one Ghana, two Ghana, 20, 50. Uh, ye. Me, I do susu. When the time comes and I have it, I give it to less privilege. Oh, those who don't work. And you saying people will go to my DM and you say, oh, there's susu, give me some. But yes, you take it to a uh, you go and give it to people and then the people will start mocking you and they will tell you they have Rolls Royce. Uh -huh. Yes. I did the susu to motivate all of you. I've started doing my susu again. The time will come, everything will be okay. I'll open my susu and then you see the kind of money I'll have. And then you there every sunday you have money to eat and then they will tell you it's go, uh, go and sow seed for a god will give us money we don't have to give god money god brought us to this world he will give us money he says good do good do good things good do good to mankind and he will bless you you are giving god money for what you are going to give god money god god will spend the money hey Charlie, let's think. Oh, if your pastor tells you, I want to buy a car, so do this for me. That one day, he, he has said it, I want to buy a car. And then the church people know that God, uh, the, the pastor has been buying fuel to church to preach. So if your pastor comes out and say, I want a car, that one, yes, we can donate for our pastor to buy a car. But they shouldn't come and say, so seed for God. For God, you are going to give God money. Eh? And if you don't give God money, problem. Eh? What I'm saying is do good to mankind. That is the most important thing do good to mankind go to the orphanage less privilege if you have one Ghana if you have Fanta if you have coke tell them this is what I have from my heart I know you cannot work this will help you yes today is Sunday
Yes, I. So, guys, I'm not saying don't go to church. Go to church, listen to good morals in church. Me, I go to church. I can take the microphone and sing, and my spirit will be okay. I was sing to God. I'm not singing for human. I'm singing for my soul to be happy. When I sing, I can touch people. When people see me with a microphone singing and praising God, they will be touched. It doesn't mean I have to take my money, my savings to give to somebody. My earning, I will give it to somebody who is less privileged. Somebody who needs help. If only I can help. And don't be so stupid that if you have 50 CD and somebody asks you 50 CD, because you say you are good, you give the 50 CD to the person and then you go hungry. If you have 50 CD and somebody asks you for 50 CD, tell the person, I cannot give you all the 50. I can give you 20 or I can give you 10 and I'll keep the rest because that is all I have. If you have 100 and the person asks you 50 and you feel you can give the person 50, give the person the 50. Yes, that is how we live. You save money. You do good to others. So that is how it works. Today is Sunday. I'm here to motivate you. Uh -huh. when, they go, when you go to the church and the pastor says, I need money for this. Church, help me. That one, the pastor, the pastor has said the truth. He said he needs money for this, for this, for this, for this. That one, he voiced it out. You can help the person. But when the person comes out and say, God say you should give this, 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 this. Me, I will advise you, don't give I'll advise you when the pastor says I need money to buy a car so I can come to the church to preach that one the pastor said he wants this and that one oh yambo I also for no now on koto car no to me be preach here that one yes but I don't want anybody to come and stand in the church and tell people you are giving this to God Nobody is giving anything to God. When you help the less privileged, is you are you are giving it to God. Because when you help somebody to the and the person succeed, if you open a business for somebody to succeed in life, you are the person's God. We are living in the physical world. When you help somebody, when you help somebody and the person succeed in life, you are the person's God. Uh -huh. So, 